in this sector at handling data. So earlier this month, Sport England announced a collaboration and partnership with the Edge Open Data Institute, who were one of the sponsors of this conference. A not for profit organisation working with a number of sectors and government to get data out there into the open arena. And they've worked very successfully in the agricultural sector, which is fragmented and actually not dissimilar to some of the challenges we have. And they also have an enormous project with the banking sector. So they know how to do this stuff. And their very clear advice to us was, don't start by trying to persuade people to share personal data. Too difficult, too fraught, too uh, tied up with commercial value. But opportunity data in this sector, what you can do, where you can do it, how much it costs, when it's available, is absolutely transformative if we can get our standards consistent. If we cannot describe swimming in 6,000 different ways, if we can actually put it out into the public domain so the clever people, the app designers and the product designers can put a front end on that open data. And I genuinely think that for those of you who run fitness, gyms, provide services, this is a really big opportunity for you. If your customers are better informed, if we have simple, clear ways of describing activity, it makes your life easier, it makes the user's life easier, people will find you, you will make more money, your customers will be happier. And if that means they are more active too, that really is good for all of us. So when the ODI, the Sport England, the big backpack comes knocking on your door, saying please talk to us about what would help make data open, make it more standard, please, please, 